Hi, Recapped Mystery Films here. Today I'm going to explain the 1995 horror thriller movie called The Mute Witness. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. 1993, Moscow. The movie begins with an American producer filming a low-budget slasher film in an old movie studio facility. Andy Clark, the filmmaker, has his girlfriend Karen Hughes as his assistant and Billy Hughes, his girlfriend's sister, as his special effects makeup artist. Billy is a lovely young blonde girl, but she lacks the physical ability to talk, much alone make even the tiniest sound. However, she does not appear to be deaf. Aside from those three, the whole crew is Russian. Leosha, the young and attractive assistant cameraman, is flirting with Billy in front of his buddy Arkady, one of the light engineers, who is amused to see that. As the entire cast is Russian, it is difficult for them to communicate with the actors. One of the female actors, who is meant to have been stabbed to death, overacts and damages many props on the set. She just goes on and on, breaking the wine bottles, tearing apart the curtains, and pushing the furniture. Andy decides to take a last shot for the day, but as he is about to film the shot, the light in the studio is turned off. It is almost closing time in the studio, and there is no time to fix the props, so Andy decides it is time to go home. In the parking lot, Andy and Karen remind Billy that she is invited for dinner in their apartment. Then Billy remembers she forgot to take a mask she has to fix and goes back into the building while all of the other cars are leaving. Karen wants to wait for Billy, but as Andy suggests that she has her own car, they decide to leave. Billy returns to her workshop, but she doesn't find the mask, rather observes the janitor closing and locking the compound's main gate through her window. She tries to get his attention by hitting the window bars, but she fails. She runs downstairs only to discover that the building's doors have already been shut. Billy telephones her sister, but it is picked up by Andy, who understands nothing. Karen calls Billy when she gets out of the shower, and Billy can interact with her sister by tapping on the handset's microphone. Billy then informs her about the situation. Billy goes downstairs when she hangs up because she hears sounds coming from one of the sets. She sneaks into the set, where she discovers Leosha filming a pornographic video. A fat, blonde lady is nude and having sex with a half-dressed man in a mask. Billy is both humiliated and amused at the same time. When the masked man begins hitting the lady and binding her hands, she gets frightened. He then takes out a large knife and begins stabbing the woman, killing her. The two men are working on a snuff film, which is a film in which people are killed in reality. Such films are said to be sold to very wealthy people for a very high price in the underground sector. Billy tries to escape the scene, but she knocks over a hat stand, scattering a diskette beneath a wooden wardrobe. Leosha runs after Billy after hearing the noise created by the falling hat stand. In a lengthy corridor, Billy hides behind a vending machine. Leosha then frantically starts searching for someone's presence throughout the corridor. Billy snatches the key to the emergency door at the end of the corridor while Leosha is inspecting one of the rooms that opens into the corridor, but she doesn't have time to open the emergency door because Leosha is back in the corridor. A frightened Billy then hides in one of the rooms opening on the corridor. As she moves from room to room, she comes across an out-of-service elevator and begins going down the shaft using the emergency ladder. Meanwhile, in the corridor, Arkady runs to his buddy Leosha. Arkady is shown to be the masked guy who stabbed the innocent woman. Billy holds the emergency door key between her teeth, but she loses it. It lands at the bottom of the shaft, in the cabin. Billy descends the shaft and peers into the cabin through the roof's chicken wire. She notices that the cabin door is wide open and that the key is not inside the cabin, but rather on the basement level's landing near the entrance. Arkady and Leosha enter the shaft, 
carrying huge plastic bags that they put beneath the cabin and into the shaft's bottom. The key is dropped along with the baggage. Billy walks under the cabin to look for her key once they've left. She not only finds her key, but she also uncovers the remains of the poor murdered woman within the bags. She starts sprinting back towards the emergency entrance, but Leosha and Arkady see her. Despite this, she manages to go to the emergency entrance and open it. Leosha furiously pulls it open before she can lock it, and Billy falls from the outside emergency gallery into a massive pile of discarded film packages. Just then, Karen, Andy, and the janitor track down Leosha before he can kill Billy. Leosha grabs Billy's hands to keep her from disclosing what happened to her sister as Andy and the janitor go for a doctor. He acts as though she can't move or she'll become paralyzed. Sometime later, two uniformed police officers interview Billy with Karen's aide inside the set where the lady was murdered. Leosha and Arkady, on the other hand, explain to the cops that it was a fake murder and show them a false prop knife with a retractable blade and a pouch of fake blood attached. One of their films is even given to the cops. Then they all head down to the basement to examine the plastic bag in the elevator shaft's bottom. The bags, however, contain nothing but garbage and Billy, Karen, Andy, and the two cops depart the studio. After the group departs, the janitor discovers a skull burning in the incinerator while patrolling the basement, but Arkady kills him. Meanwhile, Karen, Andy, and Billy are eating at a restaurant. Karen still believes her sister is speaking the truth, despite all the proofs she has received. Leosha and Arkady are waiting in the studio compound's yard for their big boss, nicknamed The Reaper who arrives in a black limousine accompanied by additional cars with his security. They explain everything to their boss who tells them that they won't get paid until they murder Billy. Andy, whose father is a high-ranking politician, contacts Mr. Lovett, the U.S. Ambassador's secretary, who instantly meets Alexander Larson, a high-ranking police officer working as an undercover investigator to investigate the operations of the Reaper's criminal organization. Meanwhile, Billy has returned to her apartment, where she can speak with her sister via computer that converts what she enters into synthetic speech. In the next scene, Larson and Lovett are watching the footage that Arkady and Leosha gave to the cops. Actually, it's not Leosha's snuff film, but Andy's, in which the foolish actress destroys half of the set. Mr. Lovett phones Andy later that night to offer him the good news. Karen contacts her sister before going to bed to make sure she's okay. Someone rings the doorbell in Billy's apartment while they're talking. Arkady attempts to enter Billy's flat. She succeeds only in slamming the door in his face. Regrettably, Arkady begins unscrewing the door's lock with a power drill. Karen decides to leave for her sister's house as soon as she hears the noise, so Billy can't call her back. Billy attempts to contact the police via operator, but the operator is unable to understand what the synthetic speech machine is saying. Meanwhile, Arkady has broken into Billy's apartment and pulls the phone cord off when she finally finds someone who speaks decent English. Billy has retrieved a large knife from her kitchen and is attempting to keep Arkady at a distance. They fight all throughout the apartment, shattering everything, and Billy finally hits Arkady in the head with a large vase. While Leosha enters her flat, Billy locks herself in the bathroom. Arkady tries to slam the bathroom door open only to tumble into the bathtub full of water when he succeeds. Arkady is electrocuted as Billy tosses the electric hairdryer into the bathtub. Leosha captures her as she attempts to flee her flat. He wants her to inform him where he can find a crucial diskette he needs. Actually, it is the diskette we saw going under the big wardrobe when Billy knocked the hat stand down on the set. He offers Billy a pen so she can write it down, but she stabs the pen into Leosha's leg. But before he can react against Billy, Larson arrives there and knocks him unconscious. He then drags Billy out of the apartment and into his car. The car driven by Larson is followed by the car driven by Warchuk. 
the Reaper's right-hand guy, Warchuk, is the only one of his assistants he truly trusts. Karen and Andy enter the flat shortly after Larson and Billy had left. They discover Arcadi's body in the bathtub and that the flat has been destroyed. They lock themselves in one of the bedrooms because they are afraid of Leosha, who is still present in the apartment. Warchuk sends two fake cops into the flat, kills Leosha, and drags Andy and Karen out of their locked room to question them about the missing diskette. Meanwhile, Larson tells Billy in his car that the lost diskette has crucial information regarding the Reaper's criminal network. Billy finally remembers where the diskette is, but she becomes suspicious of Larson when she overhears him talking to Warchuk on a walkie-talkie in Russian. She strikes him in the private areas and then binds his hand to the steering wheel with the handcuffs she discovered in the glove compartment to compel him to stop the car. She exits the vehicle and sprints for Warchuk's vehicle, but she pauses, stops, and returns to Larson's car, which speeds away just as Warchuk's henchman catches up with her. Meanwhile, the two fake cops are still attempting to get Andy and Karen to inform them about the lost diskette. One of the cops points his pistol at Andy's head, but Karen carefully slips the rug out from under his feet. When the police officer stumbles, he mistakenly fires his weapon, killing his partner. Karen then knocks out the fallen cop by beating him over the head with the phone handset and finishes him off by crashing an armchair into his skull. Meanwhile, Larson and Billy have arrived at the studio building. Larson is freed by Billy and they enter the building and lock the doors from the inside. Warchuk parks outside the building in the yard, accompanied by other cars with shooters. Andy and Karen park on a nearby street and enter the property by climbing over the wall. Larson discovers the diskette behind the wardrobe inside the building. But as Warchuk steps in, Larson, an undercover agent, acts to be on Warchuk's side against Billy. But later, he smashes Warchuk in the head with the rear end of his gun. Eventually, Andy and Karen get access to the building, but not before seeing the Reaper's automobile passing through the grounds. When they go inside, they notice Larson dragging Billy out of the building with a gun. Larson is ordered by the Reaper to shoot her, which he does. The Reaper is satisfied, so he orders all of his gunmen to leave the building. Karen walks back inside the building to hit Larson hard and then comes out to her dead sister, only to discover she is not dead and has just used one of her special effects devices to make it look like she is shot and covered in fake blood. Andy tries to shoot Larson using his gun inside the building, only to discover that it is filled with blank cartridges. Larson and Andy emerge from the building to greet Billy and we learn that Billy has fallen in love with Larson. Larson places Wartschuk in his car, gagged and bound. But something about Wartschuk's terrified look bothers Billy, who, since she can't speak, reads people's expressions better than others. The movie ends as she forces Larson to exit the vehicle just as it explodes, killing Wartschuk, but not Larson. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, give us a like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Till then, bye and take care.